I'm often asked, what exactly is sports and performance vision, and why do we need it? This video will answer that question, and will explain why it's a specialty that's critical to your future. Hello, I'm Dr. Lavi. I'm a sports vision ophthalmologist with 30 plus years experience working with professional, Olympic, and elite athletes. This channel is devoted to bringing what I've learned from them to you to maximize your sports performance. First of all, let's understand that this information is not just for athletes. This information is good for everybody, no matter what you do, whether you drive, whether you work, everything that we do depends on vision. Certainly in athletes, whether pros, semi-pros, or weekend warriors have a lot to gain and a lot to learn from sports vision, but they're not the only ones. Car drivers, very much like athletic performance, need to have good performance in sports vision. Even simply crossing the street and walking, you have to have good peripheral vision, good timing, good vision to see what's happening in order to be safe and not be injured. So in fact, sports and performance vision is for all of us. All of us can benefit from optimized sharpness of vision, optimized visually based decision making, and optimized visually based motor actions as we interact with the world and perform our daily life. In fact, that's why sports vision is probably better known as performance vision, because we all need to use it together, not just for athletics. We can look at three main areas of science, and the place where they overlap is the area that we call now sports and performance vision. First of all, we're concerned with the eyes. The eyes are our cameras for the world, and they allow us to function. If we think about what's important for the eyes, we start from the outside and work our way in. The eyelids are important. The eye surface is important. It has to be lubricated for good vision. Cornea has to be clear. Our actually internal portions of the eye, the pupil and the lens have to be optimal. And our retina, our optic nerve, which is our electrical connection to our brain, has to be working normally and optimally for excellent performance. Certainly any issue in any part of those structures will have a significant impact on our vision and therefore on our performance in our sports or in our daily life. The next area, is how the brain uses this visual information and interacts with it. In fact, some people estimate that over half of the brain's function is somehow related to vision and what we see. Some of those critical areas of the brain that are really connected to vision and make a difference in sports performance are these. The frontal lobe guides eye movements, for example. Another area called the superior colliculus guides where we are looking. The superior temporal sulcus can detect motion in our world what we see. The fusiform gyrus and the supplemental motor areas are involved in the go-no-go -go decision prior to commencement of a motor action. And lastly, the parietal and the temporal lobes contain the dorsal and the ventral visual streams, which are critical in determining what an object is and where it is in our visual world. There are many other areas of the brain that are dealing with visual information, but those are the critical ones that impact our performance in sports. The final area, the third area, involves psychology. How we control these biases and how well we can see things as they really are and not affected by our emotions or our previous experiences can make a big difference in your sports performance. So if we look at these three areas, when we combine them, the areas that overlap, that's sports and performance vision. We spend a great deal of time on this channel producing videos and explaining how these different areas are important to athletes, but let's not forget how they're important to the general population and everybody as well. For example, as a car driver, whether you're a for hire a car driver in a taxi or a van, or you're driving your personal car with your family. These visual abilities are critical to your success on the road. Driving isn't easy. You have to look forward at far away at what's happening in front of you. You have to be able to change your vision up close to see the dashboard and the numbers telling you about how your vehicle is behaving, speed and so forth right in front of you. You have to have good peripheral vision as well as good central vision as you're driving to make sure you pick up someone who's running across the street or a little child who's trying to get the ball that ran into the street. You have to be able to react to those things quickly. You have to process it and you have to do that with the interference of a crying baby in the back seat and maybe your little kid asking you questions from the front seat. All those things together involve driving and those are all processes, functions that depend on vision that you can evaluate and optimize. If you think about it, that's a pretty tall order, and it's pretty amazing how we're able to drive so successfully and so safely every single day. Another example comes from an individual who had a visual disability who wanted to improve the remaining vision that they had. In fact, we created a whole video about this project, and it's shown here. Press it if you want to see that video. In this case, we had someone who had a condition who had limited peripheral vision and not so good central vision either. Our aim was to make the vision she had more useful and to allow her to react faster when she saw something entering the vision she had, which was limited by the reduced visual field. 
In fact, we specifically did this to help her avoid surprises. What do I mean by surprises? Well, she, when she walked here in New York City across the street, she wasn't able to see if a car was turning into her crosswalk as she was walking, and occasionally she was getting struck by these cars. Now, fortunately, not at high speeds and not seriously injured, but certainly no one wants to get hit by a car. The intention was to make her vision that she had more responsive, allow her to recognize motion in her periphery faster, to react to it faster, in order to avoid getting struck. After training, she was able to avoid these collisions and stay safer in the city. She noticed this both subjectively, we measured it objectively as well. And that's the focus of the paper we published in the video that I mentioned previously. In fact, this concept of combining what the eye does, what the brain does, and psychology works beautifully in our concept of the sports vision pyramid. The sports vision pyramid is a stepwise approach in testing, correcting, and training different functions, starting with vision, all the way through motor actions, what's necessary to perform well in your sport or in everyday life. As is true in most pyramids, a strong base, strong basic visual ability is important to build a very stable pyramid that lasts for a long time. It doesn't make sense to train abilities higher in the pyramid and make that wider than your base to support. If you do that, you have a pyramid that's not stable and that's not gonna work well for performance. Think about it. How can you ask someone to react faster to something that they can't see? You want to make sure they can see it and then make sure they react to it quickly. We suggest starting with the basics and working way up to optimize each of these abilities in the sports and performance vision realm for maximal performance. Think about it. People don't play sports with their eyes closed and we don't interact with the world with our eyes closed either. We drive with our eyes open. We play sports with our eyes open. We walk in the street with our eyes open. Vision is a critical component to success. We want to optimize it for everyone's benefit. If you found this video helpful, take a look at the other videos we have on our channel. We have several about sports vision pyramid. We have several about performance vision. We have the video I mentioned previously about the person whose vision wasn't perfect that we still optimized it to give her benefit and many other topics that you might find of interest to help you in your day-to-day -day life as well as in your sports performance. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Press the subscribe button below and press the bell icon so you can get notified when we release new videos each week that you might find of interest and might find helpful to your performance. Also, if you prefer to read this in a written form, we post in our blog much of the same information. The blog is found at www.sportsvisionbydrlabby.com. Thanks for watching and here's hoping for good vision in everything you do.